we are going back to this. All right. This is a bow rope match. Oh my lord. Is a special bow rope match. And it is for the UPW Texas Championship. We are back. Fight field. We I mean, are back in Bay Cliff, Texas at the Bay Cliff Beatdown. If you become detached from the rope that is connected to your opponent, you will be disqualified. Otherwise, the only other way to win is by pinball. thing about this next opponent you never know where he's coming from and ransom coming from out of nowhere into the upw arena here in bay cliff texas this is that man's world bringing the bull rope to the ring he was making sure that april wasn't having a birthday tomorrow If you thought the rider was scary, this ransom has, seems like he's gone down to the pits of hell and looked the devil in his eye himself and made his way back here to Bay Cliff, Bay Cliff, Texas to take that fire and pour it straight into the next opponent, Mr. Super Duper David Dupron. Look at the look at Ransom's face, yeah, staring down the entrance ramp. This man is all business. That belt in this front is of one the of the CEO Bart Harris. This is one of the first times we've seen Mr. David Dupont come to this ring alone. Tonight he is acting head of Blade Enterprise, and we've already seen them make make a splash here at the Baycliff beatdown. I spoke to Dupont earlier this evening, and he said his mentality for this match is he is not planning on walking out of this ring. He's leaving every ounce of him inside that ring. He knows this may be one of his last matches. Going against a man like Ransom, he knows he has to mentally, spiritually, physically be ready to maybe not leave that ring. Ransom, our first ever and former Texas champion, he wants that belt back. They have not taken their eyes off of each other. David Dupron is not in his normal wrestling attire. He is just ready to fight. Both of these men are ready to fight. This, this is going to be just a fight. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, if, if you're watching at home, you cannot feel the electricity that's in this place right now. There are pins and needles going up the spine of every individual watching this match. It is intense. You can cut it with a knife. That is the tension here. Now... You ever been in a room where you know something special is about to happen? A fight like you've never seen. If you've never been in that room, every person that bought a ticket to Bay Cliff Beatdown is having that feeling right now. It is about to go down. Now, now, okay, there it is. Dupron just put that, that bull rope around his wrist. The match is officially started. And look at him, they're just going after him. Punch after punch after punch. Oh my goodness. Now, here's the thing with the bull rope. 
You cannot have that removed from your wrist. If it is removed from your wrist, you are disqualified for the matchup. Otherwise, the only way to win is via pinball. Here's the thing. This is Ransom's natural habitat. This man lives and breathes bull ropes. This is one of his staples. This is his match. So for David Dupron to have the balls to step in the ring you know, and agree to this match says a lot about his character, his ability as a performer, and a true champion that he is not to put over anybody who associates himself with Blade Enterprise, but you got to give props and credit where credit is due. And David Dupron has stepped in this match. The guts on this man. You, you said it, Chevy, that, uh, oh my, look at this. He's just blatant choke here with the rope, but. All legal. Ooh, that's right, it is all legal. It's all legal, and like you said, Ransom may have a bit of an advantage here because he is used to bull ropes. He has a ranch, right, out in Crosby, Texas. Now, I don't think that they have many ranches, many bull ropes out in, in the Bronx, New York. Oh, oh. Ransom calling the fans to bring chops in. All legal in this bull rope match. Memories these kids will never forget the first time they is sparking a fire and maybe future UPW contenders right there. Dragon, driving, dragging Dupron around the ring, right into the pole. This match is all ransom again. David Dupron stepping into this match, realizing he might not step out. It looks like we got a bit of a, oh! <laughs> more fan interaction. These kids are really getting their money's worth tonight, huh? I'll be right back. <laughs> Where are you going? Now stay here. Ransom playing an old tug of war. That's uh, down south in the Bronx right there. The Dupron's down south in the Bronx, best way to put it. That's the borough you don't want to go to. Oh, my. Ransom's expression has not changed since the beginning of this match. I'm telling you, this is a different Ransom like we've never seen before. The rider was one step into to this direction. But the writer is dead, my friend, and this ransom has rose from the ashes of that. More darker, more sinister, more cruel. I've known. Low blow I, by David Dupron, which is legal. I, legal. I've known ransom for the better part. Oh my goodness. I, I've known for the better part of a decade, maybe even more than a decade. And I tried to talk to him at the beginning of, of the show, but before. Oh, yeah. Dupron off the ring. Still attached. Ransom set straight up. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know where Ransom pulling his move. I don't know what kind of spirit is flowing through this Ransom. Is it good? Is it evil? I am not sure. Uh, well, uh, to, to that point, as I was saying, I was trying to talk to him before the show. And, you know, he's just different. He, he isn't his normal jovial self. He, he, he has some, some darkness about him. And, in fact, he asked me. I'm not sure if you noticed. He asked me to announce him as Ransom. Not Kid Ransom anymore. He is no longer Kid Ransom. He's just Ransom. He is tying Ransom tying up David Dupron with this And now rope. beating him with the bell. You know what? This match needed more cowbell. That's right, a good one. Right That's a good one. Thank you. Using that bell on the forehead of David Dupron. This is one of the most brutal matches we've ever seen in UPW. Both men trying to prove a point. Ransom trying to get his that was Texas a, championship back. He just hit him with food. Dupron trying to prove that he is a rightful champion. People in the first I row. That was a hot dog that he rubbed in his face. Throwing oh. the bull rope back. This is the first time we hadn't had a, a our, our rope to, to, to pull the crowd back, even though this might be the most we've ever needed in Bart Harris. What's wrong with you? Where's our rope? Now Action is, spilling back into the ring. Now, is Dupron trying to take that uh, take that rope off? No, no, he's, he's trying to tear off a piece of his t-shirt to use as a choking device. Yes. Oh, the tape, not his shirt, his, his tape. Yeah, I believe you're right there, Anthony. I'm always right, Abel. Thank you for noticing. What Ransom oh! has seen that David did not see was the Again. rope in between the legs. Hitting him down south in the Bronx. I, I think he's done that to a couple of bulls before. Oh! 
Smash David the face Dukron with the bell. Is not a normal person. He will get up from a punch in the face with the bell. You know, we talk about how tough they, they breed them out here in, in Texas, but. Oh, oh, big boot to the skull. You got to be tough to be from the Bronx. That's David it. Dukron is completely a little, cut open. A little right now, color. Too. Is he? Is he cut open? He yes, is sir. cut open from that bell straight to the forehead, oh, and that no. is not stopping Ransom. He is here to inflict as much pain as possible. He is here to prove himself as a real Texas champion. He believes that Dupron is just holding his belt for him. Dupron almost down to his tidy whities here. I think the some, ladies might some like of it. Some the ladies would love it. The Frohawk. What a oh, picture. Oh. The Frohawk rising to the sky as the blood pours down to the depths of hell. A little chin music. This is brutal, guys. This is hard to watch. And it's a kick out from Dupron. That was a kill. Dupron trying to prove he is a fighting champion. This new Ransom, this evil Ransom, this fueled by spirits from the unknown Ransom has given all that he got uh, you know, I'm to not ready. David Dupron. I'm not ready to say evil, but it, he's definitely darker than what he was before. I'm not Very sure what's much. going on in that man's mind. And David Dupron just taking every bit of it. Oh, Doesn't but he care. spit at him. Shooting the finger he's saying, the bring bird. more to me. Uh-oh. No, no. right in the middle of the ring. This might be the pitfall tip that we need, but no, wait. Wait, here's Jay Davis. Again, what's your part of Blade Enterprise? Oh, the big step up. Oh. Putting the pressure. He calls that Spears a pressure on Ransom. I think in the pool rope match, is this legal, Abel Morales? It is. It's, I believe it's all legal. It's 100% legal. Blade Enterprise has Blade Enterprise's back. Two champions in the ring. Jay Davis is saving the Texas champion. All for Blade Enterprise. One, two, not like this. No, he's up. He's up. One, two, three. There it is. Blade Enterprise. Dupron just holding on to ransom. And still our Texas champion. Jay Davis. The only, way, the only way they're stopping this is a cage match. That is it. Every time Blade Enterprise just runs in. This crowd really showing Jay Davis what they think of him. We have a new 12. Ransom. Ransom sits straight up, but Jay Davis runs for the hill. He's seen horror movies. He knows how that ends. Uh oh, Ransom seeming like he has a new target, and the target has moved from David Dupron to the rest of Blade Enterprises. David Dupron putting up one heck of a fight, but could not finish it by himself, even though everything was legal. Still walking out. Our undisputed pro wrestling Texas champion. Covered in blood, about to be wrapped in glory. He stands tall. Still a champion. By hook or by crook, a win's a win. And that man has won and remains champion cheer, here though. tonight. Not one cheer, but you've got to give it up. That man gave everything he had, like every single match he does. Am I a fan? Absolutely not. One of the toughest guys in UPW. Hands down. No comparison. We'll be right back for our final match. One you don't want to miss. does it with matches like that. Abel Morales. I mean, I, I can't agree with you more. 
Uh, next time we're going to have some matches. It's going to be live in Santa Fe, Texas, October the 29th. And if you're watching this right now on YouTube, make sure you give us a like and a subscribe so you get all the hottest and latest UPW content. Oh, we search UPWTX and you will find us. Yeah, Facebook and all the social media groups.